a piece of history. They are turning a piece of it into a place to call home. That is the mission of one family in Franklin. And it turns out their efforts to turn a 100-year-old schoolhouse into their family home has garnered millions of views on social media. People are really into this. Sierra Hignite joins us now with how this family even ended up taking on this massive project. Yeah, it's funny. The way I came across the story was it actually came across my social media feed, and I thought, hold on. That's in Franklin. Stacey Grissom and her husband are from Franklin, but they relocated to the East Coast over the last decade for work. When they decided to move back to the Midwest, they told their realtor that they simply wanted a house with some personality. They ended up with so much more than just that. Union Joint Grade School Number 9, or at least that's what it was called when the two-story, 9,100-square-foot brick building was built in Franklin in 1914. Soon, children will be running through the halls once again. I was always aware of this school and thought it would be the coolest house and just never dreamed that it could be our house. Stacy Grissom and her husband decided to move back to Franklin after spending 10 years in New York City. When discussing the move, they simply told their realtor they wanted something special. The email subject line that he sent me, I think he thought that this was too quirky, um, but no, this was the perfect amount of quirky. The couple purchased the home without ever seeing it in person themselves, trusting the videos that their family sent them from across the country. In its 109-year lifespan, this building has been home to a school, farm animals, apartments, and now Grissom and her family. Our families have valued, like, taking old things and like keeping them alive and so I think like this is just like that on a very grand scale sure. and sometimes terrifying. The house needed extensive renovations to be brought into the modern century. They took it down to the studs, replacing the roof, put in new windows, added framing, and even plumbing. And while the home still has much of its original charm and architecture, in order for it to become inhabitable, most of the original finishes inside have had to be replaced. We are trying to like add back a few things like into the school to like honor its history. One element was able to be saved though that Grissom says will make for great dinner party conversation. I'm curious once we like take the paint off of the floors I think there's going to be some like stains from animals in there which is like an interesting thing to have on your living room like <laughs> story of the living room floors. Initially, the top floor, which is 4,500 square feet, is where the family will live. They have converted classrooms into kids' bedrooms and a primary suite for the parents. Their kitchen will replace the room that used to house chicken coops. Then later, they'll finish the lower level of the home, creating apartments for the in-laws with the remaining 4,000 square feet. One of the things that we're super excited about is, like, you know, this can handle a lot of grandkids and some big like family parties so that was part of the vision as well. The family is really leaning into the history of the home even designing their own merch for it. Uh, the merch says things like you're seeing here the Union Joint Track Club with their little turkey mascot is what they've decided for the home. Grissom hopes to have the home done and her family moved in by the holidays this year. Cute is that? It's, by the holidays, so, huh? By the holidays, which I will say, when I was there a couple weeks ago, a lot of the, you know, underground work that usually takes a long time mm -hmm. is done, and it's really about putting up walls and finishes. That's kind of where they're at now. They've got the windows installed, which she said was one of the biggest issues for him. Yeah, I saw him repointing the bricks outside. It looked like he was doing a good job. You should go uh, back when they're done. I'm going to. She actually. Oh, you are. She said she's going to have almost like a holiday open house is her goal. And mm -hmm. she said, you should come. I was like, I'm definitely yeah, we coming. See it. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be really cool. So hopefully I can um, go and do a follow-up when this is all done. And I hope they're able to meet their deadline. Because could you imagine the holidays in that yeah. house? I know. Yeah, so cool. Awesome. So, so Thank so cool. you, Sierra. Yeah.